How do you feel about this new police chief? Or who do you who do you like? Um, boy, tough question. Right. Who do you like? Okay. Um, I can tell you that um, the the one person Don't be shy, Ken. the one person um that because we've interviewed all three all and right. i've known chief chacon i love yeah. don't get me i and i want to preface it with this i love chief chacon i've worked with him on the union board okay i've worked with him in criminal cases i've known him for a long time but if this department is as bad as everyone says and we're doing all this reimagination you know he and then our chief of staff were um in charge during all these all these issues and um, neither one of them has been able to provide a true direction uh, of the way they want to go, and I feel like it's because they're waiting to, to fill this chief position spot. But the one person that's interviewed Weather Board, we've interviewed uh, Avery Moore. We've interviewed um, Amada Tingeridis. Amada okay. So who do you like? Uh, I can tell you that Amada Tingeridis provided a three-hour um, preview of what she wanted to do, what, how she did it, and what's. You know, she was, she was, <laughs> she, her life story, um, she was uh, born to a 14-year-old woman, and she was raised in foster care in Watts. And she went back later in life to be a police officer to, to fix the issues that she saw growing up. And she has done that. She has decreased crime. She is beloved by the chief of police in Los Angeles. She's beloved by um, gang members, by activists, uh, by community members, by her officers, and by subordinates and um, superiors. And what, um, in a few weeks, we'll be able to provide information I, to the so public I, on. We did a very, very I, thorough okay. background uh, investigation I, on both individuals. I actually like Avery Moore from when I talked to him. Did you? Okay. Yeah, I, I liked him. I thought, I thought um, everything I said to everything I said about managing jujitsu training, mm -hmm. I talked about how like our police should be EMT certified. Yes. Um, and this we're gonna talk about Gary Foster before we wrap up, and then that, that's where it kind of um, boils down to. Mm -hmm. And I also, you know, was saying that you know um, a lot of people's civil liberties really felt violated by these lockdowns, and it's really important to balance keeping the public safe, mm -hmm. having law and order, but also, um, you know preserving liberty and not enforcing something that's tyrannical by a government and he was fully on board with everything that i was saying and he wants to come on and do a podcast and talk to me um whereas tingarides i don't know like she has a good story mm -hmm. she's well spoken she's very nice yeah. she's so nice she's such a nice lady but it's like would she re like i have doubts about whether or not like she would really preserve our liberties if given in order to do the opposite. I have some doubts based on talking to her. I feel like she says a lot of like rosy, woke platitudes and like that doesn't seem like it adds up coming from a police chief.